Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Shanley Davis. I'm a pediatric endocrinologist that works at the Children's Hospital Colorado and the University of Colorado Anschutz Medical Campus. Here we have the Extraordinary Kids Clinic, which is a specialty clinic for children with XXY and other X and Y variations. All right, we're gonna shift gears to talk a little bit uh, about fertility and the implications of testosterone treatment on fertility. So the, this is a big question that comes up, is whether or not starting testosterone or being on testosterone will decrease your chance of being able to have um, a successful microtessy procedure in the future. For To pause there, microtessy stands for micro testicular sperm extraction, which is a procedure that they can um, do under anesthesia to be able to find um, sperm successfully in about 50% of guys with XXY. The biggest and best study that was done um, to answer this question was done over in Europe and um, concluded that there were no, no differences in the sperm retrieval rates through microtessy, whether you had um, a history of being on testosterone or not being on testosterone. That being said, testosterone, when given in high doses, can act as a birth control. So it um, decreases the signals that are coming for your, from your brain to tell your testicles to work, to do their job. And so you will not um, have that active process if you're on um, um, full testosterone replacement, or particularly if you're on high doses of testosterone replacement. Most urologists, um, before they do microtessy, will have you stop testosterone for a period of time so that system can start back up again. Kind of like a woman taking birth control pills. Once she stops the birth control pills, it might take a couple of months before her cycles are back to normal and she has normal fertility. It's not exactly the same for men, but it's the similar idea. So giving testosterone or replacing testosterone um, um, doesn't seem like it decreases your long-term chances of being able to successfully find sperm use, doing a microtessy procedure. However, that research is still pretty limited. There were still um, only about 50 guys in that uh, particular study um, that were in the testosterone versus no testosterone analysis. And the average time that they were on testosterone was only about four years. And so we don't know if longer duration of testosterone or particularly high doses of testosterone might suppress that um, further and decrease the chances of successfully finding sperm um, in some individuals. However, based on the research that we have right now, my advice would be not to withhold testosterone um, for if you are, if you do have low testosterone levels or have hypogonadism, because there's super important things that testosterone does, as I mentioned before, with bone health and effects on the brain and effects on your metabolism. Um, and there's no clear indication that it uh, harms future fertility at this point.